calculate the heat capacity of liquid water per molecule in terms of K okay let's do that now we know that the specific heat capacity of water is uh, 4. Point, uh, C for water uh, is 4.186 joules over gram Celsius let's use dimensional analysis here to get it per molecule we know that uh, every mole weighs uh, uh, weighs 18 grams that's in one mole of water which is made up of Avogadro's number of molecules so in other words I could write here uh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules weigh 18 grams um, and uh, 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 but one second I need this to be divided because I'm trying to get this per molecule of water so this has to be division so I can get the uh, molecules in the denominators so per molecule a ratio so uh, these two guys cancel out and uh, what do we get here uh, we get uh, Times 18 okay so de plugging this on the calculator we get uh, so CW is 1.252 uh, and now the units are joules per Celsius molecule per Celsius molecule that's in one molecule of water now K is uh, uh, I think uh, let me look up K here one second Boltzmann's constant is 1.5 used to have that memorized uh, but for some reason I'm blinking on that uh, uh, K is uh, no, uh, 1.381 times 10 to the minus 23 joules per Celsius so if I divide this by K and multiply it by K to get it a ratio of K I find out that CW and I put the uh, number for K here I find out that CW is 9.06 K per molecule water uh, and K again is Boltzmann's constant okay uh, so that means uh, to raise the temperature of water by one degree Celsius uh, we need uh, to increase the energy uh, of every molecule that's what the heat capacity is uh, by 9.06 K um, okay now the we know let's get the degrees of freedom now we assume that all the thermal energy is stored in quadratic degrees of freedom how many quadratic degrees of freedom do we need well uh, we know that uh, u is equal to uh, one half uh, n f uh, k t right and, and we know that uh, at constant volume CW is DU over DT and so this would be one half N F uh, K okay uh, Okay, one thing here before I go uh, further, 
Uh, notice when I derived here CW, or I calculated CW, it's not that much of a derivation, uh, I already have uh, over n contained in this, because, because this is technically C over n, because I divided by the, if you remember, I divided by the uh, molecules over 18 grams so that gave me C per molecule so in other words my n is already contained in this so I could eliminate my n here and I could, could eliminate my n here it's already contained in CW it's like me dividing both sides by n and then replacing C over n by CW which I got up there to be 9.06 uh, K Okay, so moving on, so then uh, I could f calculate my degrees of freedom from this. So 2CW is equal to FK. Uh, uh, and um, uh, that means uh, 2 times 9.06K, that's CW, is equal to FK. K cancels, and you can see my degrees of freedom is about 18. I need 18 degrees of freedom in this water molecule if all the energy is uh, stored in the thermal energy but we know like some of it is elsewhere so uh, because we know that there's there's uh, what about 10 degrees of freedom in that water molecule so so th this shows an excess of 8 degrees of freedom uh, that concludes this problem